Prologue from Henry V, Act One, Scene One, by William Shakespeare, recorded for LibriVox.org by Squid Vajlakova. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment. But pardon, gentles all, the flat, unraised spirits that have dared on this unworthy scaffold to bring forth so great an object. Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? Or may we cram within this wooden O the very casks that did affright the arid Agincourt? Oh, pardon, since a crooked figure may attest in little place a million. And let us, ciphers to this great accompt, on your imaginary forces work. Suppose within the girdle of these walls are now confined two mighty monarchies, whose high, uprearied, and abutting fronts the perilous narrow ocean parts asunder. Peace out our imperfections with your thoughts, into a thousand parts divide one man, and make imaginary puissant. Think, when we talk of horses, that you see them printing their proud hoofs in the receiving earth. For tis your thoughts that now must deck our kings, carry them here and there, jumping o'er times, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hour-glass, for which the supply, admit me, chorus to this history, who, prologue-like, your humble patience pray, gently to hear, kindly to judge, our play. End of prologue. This recording is in the public domain. Recording by Squid Vajlakova. Found at squidvarilekova.voice123.com.